In this video, we explain Bernoulli trials, the Bernoulli distribution, and binomial random variables. A Bernoulli trial is an experiment in which there are two outcomes, success or failure. As an example, if you flip a coin, the probability of getting heads or tails is 50%. This is an example of a Bernoulli experiment. We use the letter P to denote the probability of success in a Bernoulli experiment. The probability of a failure is therefore 1 minus P. We can compute the expected value of a Bernoulli experiment in the same way we would for any distribution. In this way, we arrive at an expected value of P. Variance is defined as the sum of x minus the expected value of x squared times the probability that x is equal to xi. So with some simple algebra, we arrive at P times 1 minus P. In short, for a Bernoulli experiment, the probability of success is P, the probability of failure is 1 minus P, the expected value of the experiment is P, and the variance is P times 1 minus P. Now suppose that we flip the same coin three times. Also suppose that the coin is weighted, and so the probability of getting heads is 0 0.6. We might be interested in the probability of flipping heads two out of three times. To compute this probability, we need to take into account the fact that the first two flips could be heads, and the last tails, or the first and last could be heads, and the second tails, or the last two flips could be heads. We could compute the probability of getting heads in the first two trials, but not the third, given the fact that these flips are independent from each other, so the probability that events happen simultaneously is equal to the product of the events happening individually. This gives 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4. This is the same as the probability of the first and last flips being heads, or the last two flips being heads. We can sum these probabilities together because the probability of the union of two events is equal to their sum minus the intersection of the events. And you cannot flip heads, tails, and then heads, and heads, heads, and then tails simultaneously. This gives us the probability of getting two out of three heads. The probability of getting k successes through n trials is governed by something called a binomial distribution. We can more easily compute the result above using the formula for the binomial distribution. Notice the n choose k at the beginning of the formula. This is here to compute the total number of ways you could arrange k successes through n trials. If we apply to the answer from before, we can see that this is just 3 choose 2, which is 3. So we can get our answer by multiplying the probability of getting two heads and a tail by the total number of ways that you could arrange heads and tails. To recap, the number of ways to get k successes through n trials is given by n choose k times p to the k times 1 minus p to the n minus k. The expected number of successes through n trials of a binomial random variable is given by n times p. The variance is given by n times p times 1 minus p. These are derived by multiplying the expected value of a Bernoulli experiment by the total number of Bernoulli trials n. In this video, we learned what a Bernoulli experiment is and the expected value and variance of a Bernoulli experiment. Then, we learned that a binomial random variable governs the number of successes through n Bernoulli trials and has expected value n times p and variance n times p times 1 minus p. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more content on probability, logic, and beyond.